dear all welcome to demand side management in this session i'll be discussing the management and organization of energy conservation program after completion of the session i promise you that you will understand the structure of energy management program in different organization there are different hierarchies let's go through different type of hierarchy let's come to the point initially i'll be showing you what is the general structure of energy management program everybody can see the flow chart please consider the flow chart the company chairman of course is the top authority in a particular organization under company chairman you can see the managing director and uh, another important person that is energy management coordinator energy management coordinator is also known as chief engineers chief engineer is a single person under uh, chief engineer there are different uh, managers working and un uh, uh, working under uh, chief engineers there are different managers such as manager for molding session manager for assembling unit managing for material management uh, supervisors then chief accountant etc anyway we can able to say that the chief engineer or energy management coordinator chief engineer is also known as energy management coordinator uh, the energy management coordinator has a crucial role to control different engineering process okay he has to monitor different engineering process through the different managers it is one of the typical example uh, be, uh, likewise there are different uh, hierarchies so if you look at this flow chart you will understand that Uh, the chief engineer or energy management coordinator has a crucial follow up all the type of process which are involved in the particular organization okay so this is the basic structure of energy management program in an organization but the thing is depends on the uh, area or depends on the nature of organization there are different types of energy management program so let's understand the different type of energy management program in various organization you can have a checklist number of station division level organization and the corporate level organization these are the three uh, types of energy management program which is applicable for a particular organization moving on to the particular session i am going to discuss about what do we mean by plan level organization we can have a brief discussion on plan level organization okay so i would like to show you one block diagram related to plan level organization it is applicable for a single plant okay where uh, area is less than 100 hectares it is monitoring the energy conservation for a single plant unit it's applicable for small and medium plant or you can call it as a large plant who is the major uh, role who has the major role who is uh, playing the major plant energy conservation coordinator has a crucial role to monitor all the type of energy conservation activity under plant management the plant energy co uh, conservation coordinator who is the important person to monitor all the type of energy management program so plant energy conservation coordinator will be interacting with the divisional energy coordinator uh, manager frequently and also uh from the bottom level you can able to see there is a plant steering committee operating departments of energy conservation then maintenance committee or maintenance department or under uh, operating de operating department there is a operating shift representatives so we can able to say that it is very important that uh, the plant energy conservation coordinator will be interacting with the lower level as well as upper level so Uh, the plant energy conservation coordinator plays very important role in the plant level organization it's applicable for small and large plant or industrial units the plant energy conservation coordinator submits a report on energy conservation to the top management this is what exactly happening in case of plant level organization i hope you understood what is a plant level organization moving on to the further session i am going to discuss about divisional level organization what do you mean by divisional level organization as you can able to see uh, the basic structure of divisional level organization here division energy conservation manager you can able to point out the division energy conservation manager who has play very important role in this activity 
Uh, the divisional energy conservation manager usually communicate what the energy related issue with the director of energy conservation okay who is a md director under uh, divisional energy conservation manager uh, there are different sub managers like uh, distribution energy then engineering energy conservation coordinator steering committee uh, plant or location energy conservation coordinator etc under uh, distribution energy there is another steering committee then a terminal representative under under engineering energy conservation coordinator there is a steering committee then plant engineering representative okay the steering committee uh, they are playing separately then under plant uh, conservation coordinator there is a plant steering committee so these are the basic structure of divisional level organization what do you understand from the block diagram if i show the block diagram you will come to know that the division energy conservation manager has very important role to coordinate all the activity so finally the division energy conservation manager supposed to submit a detailed report to the director of energy conservation at the end of every financial year the is applicable for the monitoring of energy conservation process for several plant unit so in a huge area there are different plant units are available unlike the previous one plan level so in a single in a large area there are small units available at that time this structure will be applicable so the medium term it is actually quarterly basis okay it involves the transfer of usual information between similar plants there are many more plants unlike the previous one previous one is plant level organization here only applicable for single plant it's a short term basis activity will be done based on the short term basis but here it is not like that uh, quarterly basis okay divisional energy conservation manager plays very essential role in this category so that is regarding divisional level organization okay and also the steering committee plans the energy conservation program i have i have shown one steering committee the steering committee plays very important uh, energy conservation program the steering committee will be always communicating with the divisional energy conservation manager related to all the type of or uh, energy management energy saving activity suppose whenever uh, they are going to purchase an equipment uh, definitely the steering committee will be communicating with the divisional energy conservation manager now moving on to the third type of corporate level organization so we can able to see the basic block diagram of corporate level organization who is the top authority the top authority will be executive vice president the director of energy conservation Uh, will be always communicating the all energy related activity with the executive vice president the the person director of energy conservation should be submitted report related to all the activity which are comes under uh, energy act energy related activity or production etc with the executive vice president okay director of energy conservation uh, is the very important uh, he has very important he or she has very important role in corporate level organization and also a director of energy conservation can able to perform the different task with the help of a staff consultant there will be an assistant staff consultant uh, with the help of staff consultant uh, he or she can able to get all the information from on different levels like energy conservation steering committee energy conservation technical committee divisional program managers etc so it's applicable for large multi divisional organization energy conservation report directly forward to top level management so that's a speciality like uh, whatever the report uh, who is made uh, who is actually making example director of energy conservation is going to make the report and they are going to communicate with the uh, executive vice president so it involves the contribution of representatives from various business organization okay it is entirely different from the previous one because it's applicable for multi divisional organization the divisional managers report directly to the director of energy conservation so energy con- uh, the director of the role of director of energy conservation is to evaluate the entire program which is happened in the particular year it is actually yearly wise okay this will be happening in the yearly wise so in this session we have discussed about a uh, uh, different type of management and organization Uh, which are applicable for different plants okay right from the beginning uh, we discussed about the plant level organization this is applicable for single plant uh, where uh, divisional organization for multiple unit and where the cooperative level that is applicable for multi divisional organization
if you 